Did you know that India is planning to spend a whopping 2.71 lakh crore rupees on defense equipment in the financial year 2023? What's even more impressive is that 99% of this equipment will be sourced from Indian industries. This move is definitely going to raise some eyebrows, especially among countries like the US and Russia who have been supplying India with defense equipment for years. But it looks like India's defense imports are shrinking year on year, all thanks to the emergence of the Indian defense industry. It's exciting to see India taking such a huge step towards self-reliance in the defense sector. To become self-reliant in defense, India is taking significant steps and reducing its dependence on imports. One such example is that with the procurement plan worth $8.7 billion, the country has decided to purchase all its weapons from local manufacturers. But it's not just about the procurement plan. The Indian government has implemented various measures to attract investment in the defence sector, including simplifying procurement procedures, offering government funding for up to 70% of development costs, and allowing for up to 74% foreign direct investment through the automatic route. With a steady flow of capital and investment opportunities, India now has 194 defence startups building innovative tech solutions. The government has set a target of 1.75 lakh crore rupees for defence production by 2025, which includes exports worth 35,000 crore rupees. The budget outlay for FY23 has been fixed at 5.3 trillion rupees, 10% increase over last year. India's focus on indigenous defence equipment is not just a step towards self-reliance but also a statement to the world that it has the capability and expertise to manufacture top quality weapons. Apart from depending on indigenous goods, India is now emerging as a global arms supplier. Did you know that India has become a major player in the global arms market? Additionally, its defence exports are expected to reach $2.1 billion in the current financial year. Recently, India secured an export order worth $155 million for 155mm artillery guns. And the Indonesian Navy is set to receive Tevra 40mm guns from India. But that's not all. India is also finalizing a BrahMos deal with Indonesia on top of a previous deal worth $375 million signed last year. India's bulletproof jackets, ballistic helmets, snow boots, and night vision devices are used by soldiers in Europe, West Asia, Africa, and ASEAN nations. From making aero structures for Boeing's Apache helicopters to signing a multi-billion dollar deal with Airbus Defence and Space to manufacture transport aircraft, India is making its mark on the world stage. And it's not just big ticket items that India is exporting. The Indian Army recently handed over 159 indigenously developed vehicles and equipment for the UN peacekeeping mission at UNISFA ABA. India's next target is to achieve defence manufacturing worth 1,75,000 crore rupees, that is $21.4 billion, including defence exports of 35,000 crore rupees, which is $4.3 billion, by 2024-25. With the world seeking arms from India, it's clear that India's defence industry is on a steady path towards growth and success. This shift in India's defence strategy means Indian defence stocks are redefining the future. Last year, Indian defence stocks such as Bharat Electronics, Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Dynamics have outperformed benchmark indices with returns of over 70%. Despite this, there is still potential for growth in the sector due to robust order books and improving earnings quality. However, investors should have a mid to long term investment horizon as valuations in certain stocks may have run ahead of fundamentals. Most companies under coverage have reported higher margins year on year and raised their revenue margin guidance for FY23, with some expecting significant order book growth in the next few years. Ankit Mehta, Co-founder and CEO of Idea Forge said that the company's drones have been procured by the Indian Army, which has bolstered the confidence in the company's capability to deliver. It will be interesting to see how Idea Forge continues to capitalize on these trends and grow in the future. India's defense sector is poised for a significant boom, with a range of factors coming together to create a supportive environment for growth. 
with the push towards indigenous goods and government schemes to boost investment and simplify procurement procedures indian companies are well positioned to capitalize on the increasing demand for defense products and services as the industry continues to expand we can expect to see even more innovation and growth in this important sector